Hi! I can finally tell you what happened to my suitcase. Uh, the only thing is that I'm a little bit hangover because yesterday we had Christmas party again. I think it was like a third official Christmas party <laughs> this this year uh, and maybe fifth un unofficial. I mean, including uh, lunches and dinners with my friends. I'm officially ready for Christmas. But before we go for Christmas, I owe you the story of my missing luggage, which is an incredible story. So, uh, as you may know, uh, I went for holidays to Korea in June. <laughs> and the story actually begins a little bit uh, before I went, because when I was booking the tickets. On the way to Korea, uh, I've only had one stop over in uh, Abu Dhabi. However, coming back, I had two. I was flying through Abu Dhabi, then Dublin, then going back to Edinburgh. There was no other possibility. As soon as I saw two changes, and in Dublin I was to change the airline completely from Etihad to Aer Lingus, I had such a bad feeling that first time in my life I bought insurance that would cover all the delayed or lost luggage. So I went for holidays, everything was great. One of the reasons why I really wanted to go to Korea is because I love Korean products and I wanted to pack that bag with products, cosmetics, books, souvenirs, everything that I cannot buy here in Europe. On the way back from Korea, I checked my luggage in. I had a very funny feeling about it. And that was the last time I saw my bag for a long time. I came back uh, home. I landed in Edinburgh eventually and um, obviously luggage wasn't there. So uh, it was over a 30 hour journey. I was so tired. I remember I started crying. I went to the office um, that um, they, because when your luggage is lost, you have to report it straight away. So they give you this like online tracking code and the document. The woman assured me, oh, please don't worry. Most of the bikes, like 95% are found within the first two, two or three days and they're being returned straight to you because it's the obligation of the airline that was dealing with your luggage last to return it to your home address. So two, three, four days passed, nothing has happened. And obviously this incident completely destroyed my after holiday mood. Instead of being excited, uh, relaxed, I was just depressed and so, I don't know, so unhappy uh, because I was so looking forward to all of these things that I had in the bag. In the meantime, I made a big research uh, online. I found out that if the luggage is lost for over 21 days, then it's considered officially lost. And under Montreal Treaty, you're eligible for a full refund, even if the luggage is found after that time. The days were going by and uh, no trace of my luggage. And somewhere around that 21st day, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had this feeling, I need to check the lost property office in Dublin. The next day I woke up and I started looking. And what I found out, which I didn't know before, is that in Dublin they hold the record and the short description of all the items that were handed in. To my surprise, I found something which description matched the description of my bag, but there were only three words of description, black Nike bag. So to be honest, it could have been anything. This item was handed in a few days after my landing. So although I had a spark of hope, I had no guarantee that this is my luggage. They told me that I need to come either in person to check where, whether it's mine or the airline has to contact them to verify if the luggage is mine. Obviously, I don't live in Dublin, so I contacted the airline multiple times asking them for a small phone call or just to send an, to send an email there. And by the way, Aer Lingus has a hub in Dublin, so that shouldn't be really any problem because they can literally walk to the office and check it. Aer Lingus did absolutely nothing. So I got really, really angry. And to be honest, I'm angry about it till today. I decided to uh, book the tickets to Dublin just to go and check if that luggage is mine because I knew if I'm not going to do everything I possibly can to, to find it, then I won't be able to sleep till the end of my life. The first cheapest flight I could find was about a month and a half from that date. Finally, the day came for me to fly to Dublin. That was <laughs> the day after my birthday. So <laughs> I was a little bit hungover. I had to get up at three in the morning to catch that flight, which was something before seven. In the flight, I lost my ID, which was problematic because I was coming back with the return flight the same day, the same evening. I arrived to Dublin airport, 
tired hangover. I headed to Lost Property Office and I'm uh, speaking to a nice lady, checking whether the luggage is mine. And the lady says, um, I don't think it's yours because there are male clothes inside. I could not believe it. I was like, no. I was about to burst in tears. I was tired, hangover, I wanted to go to bed. I was thinking how stupid I am for even coming here, hoping that it's going to be mine, like what are the chances? Um, on top of it, the woman told me that there is no chance that the check-in luggage would ever happen to be in the office because they are the external airport office. So whoever, for example, come to pick up somebody from the flight loses their glasses. That kind of things are handed into the office. So I was literally about to like Worse. I think she saw my face <laughs> and uh, she was like, look girl, your luggage didn't disappear. It must be somewhere. If I were you, I would go back to the airport. I would not leave until they give you the answers. They have to know who was dealing with your luggage for the last time, where it was scanned for the last time, what was the agency, the handling agency that was dealing it uh, in the day of your arrival. So only because she encouraged me, I was like, okay, I will go back and do this. Because otherwise I would just go to Dublin city center and come back home with empty hands. So I spent about two hours at the airport coming back from one end to another, asking uh, customer service, asking everybody I could. I found the handling agency, uh, which didn't have a clue what happened to my bag. They didn't have any information. They couldn't help me at all. After all this time, I thought there is just no chance. Like, what am I even doing here? And uh, someone then told me there is one last place I could check. Um, there is an internal phone uh, that I could call uh, the guy who works in the storage room just to check it. So I was like, well, I've got nothing to lose. I will do it. I'm calling the guy who was almost laughing at me saying, oh, like, girl, it's been like six weeks since you lost your luggage, there's no chance, like, I'm sure there's nothing like it in our storage because I remember all the bags that are, that are there. And uh, yeah, he hung up, uh, so I'm standing there and a few minutes later, the phone rings again, so I pick up and the guy says, um, hello, actually, um, I think I found your luggage. I was like, no way! He invited me back to the storage room, I had to go back through security and all these kind of things. And yes, he hands me my luggage, untouched, unopened, just as I saw it last time. I am now showing you the picture I made uh, with my luggage when I first saw it. Um, I left it at the airport and I went to Dublin uh, for the day. I came back uh, and I picked up my luggage. Uh, the guy in the storage told me that the tag has come off, which is fair enough, it happens. However, I clearly told everybody I could, I have another tag that's inside of the bag. The guy said that, um, actually, um, I'm so sorry because uh, we forgot to put it on the system. <laughs> because even if the tags are lost, the description of the bag should have been entered into that worldwide tracking system, so I would be able to match these descriptions and hopefully find it earlier but no which actually was a good thing because uh, when I returned to Edinburgh with my luggage um, I remembered I had my insurance um, for that bag and because the bag was not in the system it still appeared as missing the reason why I could not talk about it is because I was constantly in touch with Aer Lingus and with the insurance company and I know for a fact that my name and my email address is searchable online so if th those companies uh, made a check or if I tag them somehow uh, in my uh, messages to you that I found my luggage they might be really funny about giving me any sort of reference for it because in the end of the day I got it back although after 21 days Montreal Treaty says you're eligible for a full refund. Only recently I received my full claim from insurance. <laughs> I also sent a complaint to Aer Lingus requesting the refund for my flight to Dublin because it's airline's responsibility to bring it back to me and it should be on airline cost. And you know, what kind of customer service is that? What I've learned from this situation is that these days you can get a device that's about that size that uh, tracks the location of your bag through GPS. So this is something I'm seriously considering for my next journey. And how is it possible that a pile of cosmetics, which is like liquid and plastic and few material pieces of clothes, made me so upset and so stressed for so long. What else holds my heart and soul 
so much as well that I don't even realize. It almost gave me a lesson to like detach from stuff because the only place I want my heart and my soul to be is here. I'm really unlucky with the journeys this year uh, because uh, I booked my train tickets for Christmas to my sister and I just got an email yesterday saying that the strikes are planned for exactly those days I'm, tra I'm traveling to Newcastle. So, oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> why? Why? What have I done that my travels are so disrupted this year? I hope I satisfied your curiosity about my lost luggage. Um, have a good evening. Thanks, have a good day. Yeah, see you later. Bye.